I'm Lorraine, I'm the Senior Equine Nutritionist at Conley's Red Mills and Foreign Equine and we're here today on Bally Walter Farm to look at the young stock from foals right the way through to ridden horses. We try to work really closely with our customers. Um, it's really important, particularly on the breeding farms, that we get in um, at a young stage for the horses to look at them. We'll look at their physical development and how they are progressing through the months right up to ridden work. Um, the ways we do that is, you know, with your eye, of course, we'd come in and we'd assess their body conditions. We talk through their different types of temperament and how the feed might need to be altered to suit each one. And alongside that, we would also take um, forage samples, hay, grass analysis, and we'd look at the whole picture and try and piece together um, as to what they need in terms of feeding and as well as supplementation. It's absolutely fantastic the way the Allens have it set up here. So the young stock come in over the winter time, as you can see, they're all in pens, um, divided by age, um, also by body condition and um, by, by gender for the older horses as well. They're all in, they have hay ad lib, and then we, we can monitor and change the feeding rates based on each different group. There's mares in full, um, we would assess them really closely throughout the pregnancy to make sure they're meeting all the different nutritional needs. The last three months of pregnancy are particularly important um, to make sure they're getting everything they need and then right through down to foaling and early lactation. Um, it's quite a unique setup here in that they have surrogate mares, um, so they will do embryo transfers and they will have mares carrying those foals then and looking after the foal right up until they're weaned at six months. On a stud farm, the forage, as you can see, is a really, really important aspect. Horses spend the majority of their day foraging, whether that's grass or hay. So for stud horses, that's usually a massive component by comparison to the sport horses or the ridden horses, which would have a bigger amount of concentrate feeds. So it's really important that we look at the forage analysis on a regular basis, from grass analysis, haylage and hay analysis, to make sure that we fit in the correct feeds around that forage. We have a massive range of stud feeds. We have feeds suitable for foals that have just started eating in the first seven to 10 days of life, right the way through foal and yearling mix, all the way up premier yearling cubes, and then onto the stud cube. So they develop and move across the feeds as they grow. Every setup is different, so we really try and look at what each farm is doing and how it's going to work in different places. Some farms will just use a stud cube and a stud mix, and where we feel we need to push on growth rates a little bit more, or maybe we're not meeting micronutrient requirements, we have a fantastic stud balancer in the grow care that we can use where we see fit. Foreign equine have a lovely range of supplements suited to stud horses. Some very specifically, the likes of Calgro, which can be used in brood mares in late pregnancy, early lactation, and also in young stock to support bone strength and development. Um, that product would include calcium, phosphorus, silica, um, copper and zinc. So really well-rounded balance of vitamins and minerals. Um, and then we would have other products that can be used across all life stages, but particularly on stud farms, um, the Copper Max paste is an excellent way to get chelated copper and zinc into a horse in an easy to dose syringe. Um, so particularly useful for horses in the summertime when they're out on grass and they might not need a huge amount of supplementary feed. Friscafol is another really nice supplement to have on the shelf in your feed room. It's brilliant for foals from newborn right up to, to weaning stages. And what it is, is a multivitamin with a prebiotic included in it. The dose rate is really small. So between three to 10 mils a day, depending on the foal's body weight. And it really helps as a booster or pick me up for foals that maybe had a difficult foaling or ones that are are a little bit under the wet weather and need to, you need to get them back up and running. It's really palatable, so foals actually really enjoy being dosed it and it's a good way also of, of introducing a bit of handling. So much of the horse's development takes place in utero, so it's really important to start with the mare, look at what they're getting, make sure it's balanced 
and make sure that they're getting enough micronutrients, in particular copper, zinc and manganese, into the diet to pass through to that foal. The foal will store some of those nutrients in the liver for use when they actually fall down. Um, so that's really important because it's not something you can supplement in in, early, in a foal's early life. Um, the whole way through, um, what's really important is to keep everything balanced. So we like to see horses on a steady growth curve. We don't like to see them growing very fast and then slowing down over the winter months or getting too heavy too quickly. That's where you get a lot of those developmental problems walking down through the barn and seeing that they're all bright in their eye, there's nothing below the body condition they should be at and equally nothing too heavy in body condition. Um, it's seeing that they all can come up and eat the hay, nothing is being bullied but, but to be honest that's not something I need to look out for because April and the team here do such a fantastic job that they're really on top of all of those things. The ridden horses are at a fantastic stage in terms of body condition and strength. In a young horse, it's a really fine balance between making sure they have enough calories, protein, amino acids, and vitamins and minerals to ensure that they're developing, their muscles are able to recover post-exercise. A lot of the things you're doing with those young horses, you're doing for the first time in their life. So it is an extra strain on them, but it's a balance between making sure they have enough calories and nutrients into the diet without overfeeding them and having them unmanageable to take care of and to ride. It's really important that while that shift is to get a more mature horse at an earlier stage, you are pushing on their growth rates. So it's going to be even more important than in previous times to make sure that you have a really fully balanced diet from the whole way through, through pregnancy, through early lactation and all the way up until you have a saddle on their back and they're out competing. We have a massive range of um, feeds suitable for sport horses, some specifically designed for the competition horse and others more focusing on temperament. So we feed a horse based on how they ride or what their temperament is like, if they're hot or if they're lazy. April here would be using um, some of the Horse Care Ultra, which is a fantastic feed for young horses. It's 14% protein, it has a fantastic amino acid profile, so it's great for top line development, muscle strength, recovery post-exercise, but it also has a high amount of calories in a non-heating format. There's a huge amount of horses here today, as you can see, but it's really nice to see these horses then progress through the years and make sure that their nutrition is balanced the whole way through. A lot of these horses you see here today are going to go on and compete with Bertram and Harry at the highest level of competition. And it's really important that they get a good foundation here and then that we work with the team the whole way through from braking, riding, competing at smaller training shows maybe in Ireland, all the way through to traveling around the globe and competing at the highest level.